8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, it is. Okay, one across. Group of revolutionary old soldiers. Group of revolutionary old soldiers. If I type a number, is that going to start the clock? Yes, it is. That was great. Well, I, let's be fair. We needed to start the clock. Let, let's be fair. Uh, for the purposes of this session, do Jaffa Cakes count as biscuits? We like shapes. I I will let you have it. It is a sweet treat. So uh, I will let you eat the Jaffa Cakes. Uh, I will... Uh, uh, so my The biscuits that i got here are Crunch Creams. Crunch Creams. Group of revolutionary old soldiers. I want the first word to be red. Because uh, they were a revolutionary. Red admirals. I mean, it fits. Red admirals. Hi, Womble Dad. Uh, I, uh, it's, I'm happy that you are learning things. I too. I mean, I don't think anyone can ever say they know everything that they've ever seen in a cryptic crossword. So we're all learning here. But uh, this is the easiest way to learn, is which is to uh, to essentially solve with others. I'm going to stick red in. And hope that Red Admirals is right. I don't know why I think it's Red Admirals, but I think it is. Because they'd be... <sighs> Revolutionary. I haven't used the word old there, so... Mm. Let's have a look at one down. Person. Leaving one fellow stuck up hazardous construction. Person leaving one fellow stuck up hazardous construction. Ugh. Hi, Foggy. Good afternoon. Good morning for you. I hope you are well. Person leaving one fellow stuck up hazardous construction. Ugh. It may not start with R. I should point that out. Red may or may not be one of the first word of one across, but I feel like it is. Red could well be right. Yes, I'm just not sure what that second word is yet. Person. Person may be man leaving one. So maybe take out the letter I from something. One fellow. A fellow is usually F. So letters IF could be taken out. Stuck up. Hazardous construction. Not spotting this. So two down. Engine starts to overheat dangerously when modified with a turbo. Engine starts to overheat dangerously when modified with a turbo. Okay. I'm just writing this down because I think, I think I've got this, yes, which will blast the word red right out of the water. It's, it's not going to be red. So let's just delete that. So two down. The starts to uh, overheat and dangerously are the letters O and D. And we are literally modifying it with a turbo. So take the letters O, D, and A and Turbo, modify them all, anagram them all together, uh, and you get uh, the anagram of Outboard, which is a, uh, a uh, an engine, a motor. An Outboard is a type of motor. So that is definitely not red. That's definitely an O there. A uh, group of revolutionary old soldiers. Hmm. Not sure on that one. But now that we have a letter, let's have a look at nine, nine uh, across. Blatherdon, not quietly. Gave a critical opinion. Blathered on, not quietly, and gave a critical opinion. You you pan. If you blather on, you prattle. Not quietly. So quietly is P in music. So we're going to be taking off a P uh, from whatever this is. And gave a critical opinion. I mean, panned, but it's not. Ranted, but it's no P in ranted. Blathered on. There is a lot to learn in front of me. There is a lot to learn. It can seem quite overwhelming, but literally just keep on going at it. And a lot of the time I'll be going, oh, that's neat. Oh, I've not seen that before. Even though I've, I, w I also wouldn't say I'm not the greatest solver. I'd say I'm okay as a solver. I can hold my own. Uh, I've been doing it for probably 10, 15 years and I'm still finding new stuff. So you'll never, never learn everything. So as long as you're afra not afraid by that, not afraid to learn. Then, uh, then it's fine. Blathered on. I can't work out what the word for blathered on is. Not quietly. And gave a critical opinion. If you, you, 
you pan something. If you give a critical opinion, you... Because oh, I feel like a critical opinion, gave a critical opinion, is the definition. Rhymes with stated. I mean, rated. Is it rated? Because if you give an opinion, you, you, you rate something. So if you blather on, you prate. Is that right? You prate. Ah, there we go. Three down. Institute found in Italy and maybe another country. Institute found in Italy and maybe another country. I think I must know what this is. But I don't know why. So, Italy is usually I. And another country instead of India, uh, Italy will be India. Institute. Is there an institute? I mean, this is from the independent, I should say. So, India? So, oh, okay, so it, this is Italy, is I, and maybe, so that's anagram. Oh, no, I and, isn't it? Okay, institute is I, put that in an anagram of Italy and. So, Italy is I, anagram of and is your N, D, and A. So it's I in an anagram of and with Italy at the start. There we go. Uh, let's have a look at 11 across. 11 across. Why? There we go. Art Deco building right by the eastern edge of Soho. Tourists were entertained there. Art Deco building. So this is all about construction and stuff like that, isn't it? All these clues seem to be about buildings and stuff, maybe. Art Deco building right by the eastern edge of Soho. Tourists were entertained there. Okay, okay. I think I've got I've got a uh, way in on this one. Uh... <laughs> the, the, if you're not British, this is going to be a difficult one for you to solve. If you are British, it may be interesting. You may be interested to know that the crystal mazes are now there. Um, <laughs> this. I'm not entirely sure what it used to be. Uh, Gary says this building was glorious. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I mean, how dare these clues be British, says Affrontery, says the British-themed crossword. Uh, <laughs> yes, I do apologise. Uh, so this is an anagram. Art Deco building. Actually, I think it might have even been an Art Deco building. Uh, art Deco building, anagram of Art Deco. Right is R, and the eastern edge of, so eastern edge of Soho, it, take the easternmost letter, that is an O. So it's an anagram of Art Deco, then R than O, and it's Trocadero, which, uh, what did it used to be? I mean, it used to be, an, I know it was an entertainment place at one point, sort of arcade and stuff like that, but that's not what it was originally. Um, have you been there, Sensei? Hooray! Uh, but now I believe the Crystal Maze has taken up residence in there, uh, in, in its new larger, uh, larger space. So, so it's a famous building in London, basically. Uh, let's have a look at one down. We've had a quick little oh no, person leaving one fellow stuck up hazardous construction. Going to leave that. Going to leave that. I want the first letter of that. Uh, appointed region, 13 across, from the east supplies gas. Appointed region from the east supplies gas. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not what I've written down. <laughs> uh, appointed region from the east. Supplies gas. It used to be a restaurant. Oh, okay. Trocadero. Hmm. Appointed region. F ah, okay. So I've got this. Uh, right, yes, yes, I have this. So... It's not a c country, I'm afraid, on this one. This is uh, Naughty Nightbot. I still haven't turned you off. Naughty Nightbot. Uh, so, if uh, a, a region, a region would be 
an area. Uh, and I'm going to put it backwards because from the east, uh, we're, it's from the east, we're going to write it from east to west. Uh, and if something is appointed, it is set. And if you put set area, that is your appointed region, the set area, you get erates, and that supplies gas. Oh, the bit around the Eiffel Tower is called the Trocadero. Ha! There we go. Uh, so, uh, supplies gas, you aerate. Four down. Four down. A man prepares leaves for a book. A man prepares leaves for a book. A man, a man, a plan, a canal, Panama, a man, prepare, prepare, leaves for a book, hmm, we like shapes, uh, yes, uh, I enjoy the subsidiary learning that I get from from crosswords as well. It's actually surprising how much it happens. It's quite a lot. Uh, a man, but one of the things I learn each week is just how little I know about things. Uh, a man prepares to leave for a book. I'm just not spotting this. A. I, I, I mean, I feel like it must start with A. A man, chap, uh, he prepares leaves. Oh, it could be an anagram of leaves there. But then for a book. Mmm. Oh dear, a man, a plan, a canal, Canada. <laughs> Did someone answer that then or something? <laughs> oh goodness, the gain is really high. It hasn't changed. That's really weird. Okay. Um, oh, I know why. That's a bit better. I just reduced the volume so that I'm not going to... Um, do anything. Four down. Okay, not spotting it. Can't I have a Dan, a canal, a plan, a canda. Oh, it's so close. He's preparing leaves for a drink. Well, that would be steep. Prepares leaves is steeps. Oh, no, 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 no. I've gone far too, far too highbrow with the word steep there. No, this is a terrible pun that I've told on occasion. Oh, a book. It's a book in the Bible. It is one of the ones in the Old Testament. It's fairly near the beginning. It's Hebrews. A man prepares leaves. Hebrews. <sighs> what a cross. A group of revolutionary old soldiers. So... <laughs> I didn't write it. Blame the setter. Blame the setter. A group of revolutionary old soldiers. I feel like I should be able to get that from that, that lettering. What is that first first word? Three letters ending in O. All I can think of is Neo. Oh my, Foo Fighters. Okay. Group of old revolutionary back. And then soldiers will be fighters. That's lovely. And they are a group. Person, you're wondering if uh, there is a Glastonbury theme based on Foo Fighters. Okay, there could be a music theme. We will see. Uh, person leaving one fellow stuck up in hazardous construction. Uh, mm, person leaving one fellow stuck up in hazardous construction. Ooh. May I have a hint for one down if you have it? I think uh, uh, Foggy definitely has this. Uh, person leaving one fellow... I mean, fellow is F. Stuck up. Hmm. Person leaving is a rough clue. Okay. One fellow is... So one fellow stuck up. That's uh, IF. Some sort of FI, but reversed. Hmm, maybe it's the independent site. Hmm. Uh, and then uh, hazardous construction. Hmm. Uh, what would be a hazardous construction five letters then? Uh, 
first, so it's someone who's leaving. Um, first, 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 something or other, probably. Um, hazardous construction. <laughs> uh, um, um, a first man? No, for hazardous construction is the whole thing. Oh. So it's not going to be that then. Mmm. Uh, person leaving will also get reversed. Oh, goodness. Okay, so it's got to be T then. It's got a wend in the R. So we've got fire trap. So, oh, there we go. Person leaving is a parter. One is I and F is fellow. Reverse everything and we get a fire trap, which is a hazardous construction. Thank you. Let's have a look at five down. Green vines winding around the tops of oaks. Unusually. Green vines winding around the tops of oaks. Unusually. Uh, uh, I mean, I know what it must roughly be. Oh, yes, I've got it. Hooray. Hooray. Oh, it's lagging again. It's lagging again. Curse you. Curse you. Uh, okay, this one. Uh, vines winding around. So it's an anagram of vines and then the tops of oaks unusually. Uh, it's uh, O and U. And so it's going to be winding around those two letters. So anagram of vines. It's envious. And so I was trying to think, oh, is it going to be a shade of green? No, if you're green, you're literally envious of something. Okay. Six. No, let's go. We got, that's an interesting B something V start. Would this also be the Glastonbury weekend, by the way? Uh, someone mentioned Glastonbury. So I think probably that would, uh, that would tie in very nicely if it would have been Glastonbury this weekend. Uh... Uh, an internet drop outside of my house has suffered damage. Uh, it's entirely possible. Uh, no, I'm I'm looking at my figures on my computer. My computer is struggling with this as well. It would be Glastonbury weekend. Ah, so I think, yes, there's probably going to be music references in here. Because I think Trocadero used to do music, didn't it? Drinks made in barrels. Always taking a long time. Drinks making... Uh, drinks made in barrels. Always taking a long time. I mean, always, that's probably going to be your ever again. But drinks made in barrels, it's probably beers. Probably beers. Drinks made in barrels. Oh, no. Drinks is going to be beverages. There's your ever, because it's going to be beverages. Uh, taking a long time is ages. But, yes, the parsing still needs a little bit of work here. Uh, drinks, beverages. Made in barrels. Always, that's your ever, takes a long time. Ever ages, but where's the B? Barrels can be B. Oh, okay. Is that like sort of in terms of the sort of measurements? Sort of, you know, a barrel of something that'll be B. There we go. Uh, so we've got Glastonbury, we've got Foo Fighters, we've got beverages, uh, all, all festival related things, probably. Seven down. Fish finally gutted and put in a corner. Fish. Finally gutted and put in a corner. Hmm. Mm. Pop out thinks you've got it. Oh yes, yeah, so of course you've got a barrel of oil, isn't it? That's definitely a unit. Yep. Uh, a fish. Is it going to be? Is it going to be uh, a fish? Is the definition here? Uh, and then we're going to get finally gutted, which is a D, and then put in a corner. And then we've got a, a, a verb there to put in a corner. Maybe, maybe not. Fish. Finally gutted. It could be FY if we take all the letters of finally and gut it. And put in a corner. Mm. Can I have a hint, please? Put in a corner is the definition. Uh, mitered, augured. It's going to be augured. Fish, finally. H, gutted, and. A, D, no. This is a bit of cheap construction. Fish leads to a five-letter word. Fish leads to a five-letter word. 
and then finally gutted. Okay, so it's going to be a D here for the finally finally gutted. So I need a fish that is five letters with G something E. Uh, thanks for joining us, Physics. Uh, enjoy your Saturday. It's death for put in a corner. If you put something in a corner, you nah angle. You you fish. You angle for something. Thank you. Foggy. Provide a piece cut from irregular material. Provide a piece cut from Ill irregular material. Okay, yes, this is this is nice and easy. This oh, well, I say nice and easy. I've got it. Which is that means it must be not too bad. Uh this is a hidden clue. Uh I cannot oh, there are ads and I I, I have closed them. Um, uh, this is a hidden one. Uh, provide a piece. Uh, this is literally uh, arm. A-R-M. It's hidden there. Uh, in th a piece in terms of a weapon. Eight down. What do you call a, a guy who sprays plants? <laughs> ha! I like this one. What do you call a guy who sprays plants? You call him Mister, because he's he's a Mister and he mists. I like that one because it's a pun. Twelve across. Subjects art ultimately removed from far side of NY Museum. Subjects art ultimately removed from far side of New York Museum. Okay, well I've got this. I've got this. This one's nice. Really, really hoping for 17 Down to be a good TV show. <laughs> oh, and uh, of course, remember that when we did we did 7 Down there, 7 Down was angled. And of course, remember that 7 Down, that's 7 Up, so that's 7 Down. Uh, there we go. Uh, unofficial sponsor of 7 Down. Uh, this is The Met. The Met is the, uh, is the New York Museum. Take the last letter off and you get theme. And I'm assuming there is a theme here. I'm assuming there is a theme here. The adverts of sodding come back. Sod off. <laughs> oh dear. Six down. And this is when I'm lagging. Stupid thing. Oh, it, it did not like the fact that I tried to close that. Hmm. Six down. With a clear plan of attack, tiger cats scattered. With a clear plan of attack, tiger cats scattered. Tiger cats scattered. So this has got to be an anagram of tiger cats, right? Uh, tiger cats. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yep, with a clear plan of attack. Yep. Anagram of tiger cats. I'll give that a few extra seconds for you to de-anagrammatize it. Strategic. Strategic. That is your anagram of tiger and cats. That means with a clear plan of attack. 15 across yarn that stretches it might say in the middle uh, yes yes I have this yarn that stretches yeah it might say in the middle okay yep fair, fair enough this is a saga this is a saga it might sag in the middle um, uh, and it's just a, an epic yarn a long are we doing a thing again? What thing are we doing? Uh, saga is a, a tail that might be quite long and stretch in the middle. Uh, I can't, uh, if you, mm, should have stopped now. Sorry about this. Uh, 18, cry over an onion, cry over an onion. Ooh. <laughs> okay, yes, like this. I like this one. Cry over an onion. <sighs> okay, we are not doing the independent in the future because of the ads, which I'm uh, not. I, I'm having to keep blocking. When I, when the ads are blocked, it's fine. But um, when the ads come back, then it doesn't like it. Uh, you blub if you cry. Uh, so reverse that because over we're reversing it. An onion is a bulb. So the answer is bulb. 
14 down. Criminal wants hurt with butt of iron club. Criminal wants hurt with butt of iron club. I have this one. Yay! Criminal wants hurt with butt of iron club. There doesn't need to be a homophone indicator there, because if you cry, you blub. It's just uh, just a straight definition, and then we're reversing it. Uh, and an onion is a, a type of bulb. Uh, this, uh, it's an anagram of once hurt. Criminal means anagram of once hurt. And then with butt of iron, take the last letter of iron, uh, and you get a club, which is a truncheon. So that is 18, uh, 14 down, 19 down. Begins with B. German inventor foremost in oils and in command of resin. German inventor foremost in oils and in command of resin. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. But it can't be that. Oh yeah, criminal definitely and a grind. There. Hmm. Uh, German inventor. Is, is that going to be the definition? Um, foremost in almost is going to be O. And in command of, maybe leading, and then uh, in command of resin. I want the resin to be beeswax, but there's no O. No O in beeswax. Um, and in command of, yeah. Does, doesn't doesn't do anything. What do you think it is, Bulls Boy? What do you think it is? Let's have a hint from you. Um, benzo benzoic is that a word? Benzoic is definitely a word. The German inventor ah benz yep. Foremost in oils O, and the foremost of in command is I C. And then if it's in resin, it's benzoic. It's so icy isn't isn't a word. Uh, it um, but icy are the foremost of oils and in command. It's O I C. Yes, there we go. I C. Uh, Twenty three across. Lorry about to leave snowy area. Lo lorry about to leave snowy area. <sighs> Peace. There's a snowy area. An Alp is a snowy area. Snow probably could it end in IC again? Alpic. Lorry? Lorry is going to be a van. Oh, we like shapes has got it. Hooray! Thinking a truck. Yeah. A lorry about. So is it gonna be reverse of van, maybe? No, I don't think so. Yes, it's I don't know. I mean I mean Alpic is all I've got. It'll be... Yeah, you'd say Alpine. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, about to leave snowy area. I feel like snowy area must be the definition here. Um, oh, yeah. C does mean about. So a lorry could be... Oh, about to leave seems superfluous, say Shafki. Interesting. So just a double, almost like a double definition. I mean, uh, a lorry could be a semi. Oh, a lorry is an articulated... Ah, oh, it's Arctic, but C from... No, it's the way it's doing it, it's C minus... It's Arctic minus C. So an Arctic is a lorry. It's an articulated uh, truck. Uh, and you've got Arctic minus C. So actually... Uh, it's it's not superfluous. There we go. Uh, Twenty one down. Dress down in a pile on the floor. Dress down in a pile on the floor. Ooh, blimey. Hmm. I've got another drink here. Here we are. Um, dress down. If you dress down, you berate uh, in a pile on the floor or a floor drobe. <laughs> Shofi, Shaki says it's a hopeless. Yes. Hopeless and topless, they rhyme. Pile on the floor, laundry day. Yes, it's a floor drobe. It's not a pile, it's not a laundry pile, it's your floor drobe. Um, which is one of my favourites. Uh, double definition here. Dress down in a pile on the floor. Heaped uh, in a pile on the floor. That's me at the end of any run. 
Uh, dress down. You berate. You... Um, a floor drobe is a wonderful portmanteau. Um, I can't remember who first told me it to me, but um, I think probably my my mum. Uh, I have a sofa drobe, says Sensei. Okay. Uh, I have... I have a rail drobe, technically. You can see that there, there. There's all my clothes. It's on a rail. But it's not a wardrobe, because it's not... Anyway. Um, shag pile on the... F You've got a shag pile on the floor, have you? Uh... <laughs> oh, carpet. Carpet? Is it... A pile on the floor could be a carpet there. So, if you dress down, do you carpet? Is is there an... Is that, is that a, a double... A word means carpet? If you carpet, do you dress down? Is that what I'm basically what I'm asking? If you dress down, you carpet. Okay, I have not never come across that uh, that meaning of the word. Uh, I do indeed have ads again. I've actually had ads for a while. Uh, anyway, so we won't be doing the independent again because of the silly things. Uh, let's have a look at 28 across. Support is there from time to time. I like this clue. Nice clue. Support is there from time to time. Okay, give that a few more seconds. He says what's pouring a drink. Uh, so from time to time, take every other letter of the word there. And you get T, T-E-E. -E, and that is a support in golf. T-E-E. -E. Uh, 22 down. Main item of office equipment. Ooh, okay, got this. Main item of office equipment. The drink is not a seven down. It's, it's, <laughs> uh, I should do that. Um, uh, so 22, uh, what is, what is, what is the main, it is indeed staple catnips. It is indeed staple uh, catnip uh, a main food is your staple diet and it's an item of office equipment uh it is the thing you put in a stapler of course time to time means regularly yeah yeah absolutely uh so time to time means take every other letter so on off on off on off take every other letter uh 26 cross uh spicy sausages go with italian lager <laughs> uh uh yep yep uh, that's this this has done something which I very much like. This has done something which, which is... The word go here. The word go here is very nice. Okay, catnip. What do you think the answer is? Let's give this to catnip. Best topping on pizza. It's way above a pineapple. No, no. Sense, I need to block sensei. Right, fine. Uh, it is pepperoni, says catnip. Yes, it is. Uh, those are the, your spicy sausages. Uh, your get up and go is your pep. So your go, your energy is your pep. Uh, an Italian lager is peperoni. And then you get pepperoni. Uh, what have we got here? Okay, uh, let's try this. Cool singer and a smashing director, 7-4. Cool singer and a smashing director. Seven four. I mean, cool, nice. I don't know. Is, is there a singer called Cool? Uh, nicking and a smashing director. Seven four. Nicholas Cage. No. There's the rapper LL Cool J. Is he a director too? I mean, Nicholas Cage is probably a director, yeah. Um, but. Uh, oh, it's going to be an anagram of Cool Singer and A. It's an anagram of Cool Singer and A. So it's not Nicholas Cage, but it's going to be an anagram of Cool Singer and. Sorry, Cool Singer and A. Uh, so that's Nicholas, N-I, oh it is Nicholas Cage, N-I-C-O-L, no it's not, there's an R, Nicholas, Nicholas, and then I've got the word gore afterwards, G-O-R-E, is it Nicholas, is there a Nicholas Gore, uh, we like shapes, what is it? 
um, you have to spell his name correctly. Well, yeah, it always helps for a crossword. Don't look now might be one of them. I don't know. Uh, what uh, What is it? Uh, uh, we like shapes. I'm assuming it is just the anagram of cool singer and a Nicholas Rogue. OK, thank you, Ifrod Tari. I hope you have a good day. Uh, Nicholas Rogue in not a director that I have heard of. Nick Olas Rogue. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's try 20 down. Believable story involving a new dog. Believable story involving a new dog. Ah, oh, that's a wave. Nice work. Believable story. If you've got a believable story, it's a tale. I, oh, whoops, sorry. Uh, a believable story involving a new. So it's got to be a n in in this so it's good the a n is either going to be there or probably here like um shimjanix got it okay good uh believable story if you're enjoying by the way uh the streams uh do feel free to support me at coffee.com forward slash daniel peak you can support me right there doot, doot, doot. Uh, and in spiel ah spaniel thank you very much what have we got here? 24 across. Northern person abandoning Hull in the end. It also happens. Northern person abandoning Hull in the end. It almost happens. Well, it's got to be a near thing. Yeah, it's got to be near thing. But why? Northern, earthling, and then the, the, the end of Hull gets abandoned. Take the L out of earthling and we get a near thing. It almost happens. N earthling minus L. 20 across. Is there a theme in this? I don't know. I mean, it, 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 food for, I think if there is, I've not spotted it. Um, almost imbibe wine. It's sweet. Almost imbibe wine. It's sweet. Okay, if you imbibe, you maybe sip and then take off the last letter for S-I and then a wine. It's sweet. Sugared? No. Near thing, opposite of quarter of a pet. Oh, go away. <laughs> Near thing, opposite of a farthing. Oh, no, you don't get points. No points. No, 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 no. No points. <sighs> Damn. Uh, yes, very good. Um, Almost imbibe wine. Almost sip something. It's sweet. It was something. I feel like the definition is it's sweet. Sa 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 saccharin? Hmm. Uh, any hints on, on 20 across if you have one? <laughs> we do, we do uh, a punt competition. It, uh, it wouldn't last very long. To imbibe. Okay, it probably means to put in, to drink, to not rosé. Ah, there we go. So, to suck. Yeah, imbibe isn't, yeah, imbibe and suck, yes. So it's almost imbibe, so you almost suck. The wine is rosé. So almost take the last letter off of suck. Wine, and then you get sweet sucrose. Thank you very much, Gary. Uh, enjoy, enjoy uh, the rest of your Saturday. 16 down. Mostly well-mannered. Endlessly nice and ordinary government minister, perhaps. I thought, I thought it was going to be Portillo then, because it ends in O. Um, mostly well mannered, endlessly nice and ordinary. So the O at the end there, that's going to be ordinary, and the definition is going to be government minister, perhaps. Uh, mostly well mannered. That's going to be, what's that going to be? What's the well-mannered going to be? Once, once I get that, the whole thing will go down. Mostly well-mannered. Endlessly nice. That could be en... Endlessly nice, just like that. Government minister, perhaps. Uh, so it's not that. Um, 
Okay, can I have a hint? I the Ico is right. Okay. Uh, Dominico. I'm not being endless enough. Well, I'd take that as a compliment. Uh, it's the obvious word for well-mannered. Polite. Ugh, of course it is. And then take the, the last letter off of polite and and endlessly icy. Take take both the first and the last letters off of nice for the IC. O for ordinary. And you get Politico, who would be a government minister. Thank you very much, everyone, for the, for the subtle hint on that one. Guests oddly dying to take off. Guests oddly dying to take off. Ugh. Okay, I've got this, but why? Oh, I see. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah, okay. This one's nice. Uh, guests oddly. This is another oddly meaning on, off, on, off, take every other letter. So if you take every other letter of guests, you get G, E, and T. Uh, dying. If you're dying, you're going. Uh... To take off, that's three five. You get going. Sounding the pangram horn? No. No. There's no Q, no J. You sound your own pangram horn. There's no pangram on this one. Uh, okay, 27 across. Pol poli politician taken in by excellent excuse politician taken by excellent excuse okay happy with this one happy with this one uh, so you need to know a little bit of british politics here possibly but uh the 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 word for excellent is we've already done this <laughs> i've got more lag sorry stupid thing so uh lib lib is the uh is your politician is your is your liberal so lib in excellent we've got excellent is a one again as it just happens to be and then we've got alibi and that is your excuse okay last one here we go thank you very much everyone for bearing with me f uh, during the buffering vehicles controlled with computers from the rear vehicles controlled with computers from the rear um Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... This is quite nice. This is also not Dan's Quiz. Naughty Nightbot. I will turn you off. I meant to turn you off before the start of the thing, but I couldn't do that because I didn't want to put Nightbot on stream. Why is excellent A1? It's just the best grade of something. A1 is the best grade of something. Um, A2 would be the second best grade. And you've got all the A's, then you have B. And the C grades. So, uh, vehicles, they're going to be your trams, uh, because the reverse of that is smart. Hooray! Without help. Didn't need your help. Oh, goodness, no. Uh, uh, go back to the clues. Uh, it's smart, reverse, and if something's smart, then it's controlled with computers, like a smart f thing. <laughs> so, it's smart, reversed, and it's vehicles. And there we go. We got 100%. Thank you very much, everyone. Everyone, give yourself a point. There we go. Go.